excuse the state of me, but I'm getting headshots done tomorrow. Headshots, portraits, for the fantastic photographer James, who I will link below. And I'm pretty sure he will be cool with me vlogging tomorrow anyway. I last shot with James almost two years ago now. Life was very different two years ago when I last had the shoot. I just come back, I'd come back from a holiday to Turkey and Greece with Faisal. Um, I had, I was in the middle of a really bad episode of depression because of my period and it's mad because back then I was super busy. I was burnt out because of work, but my career was really good. I was doing a lot of modeling jobs, UGC jobs, content creator jobs. I'd been filming a bunch of commercials. I'd just done like motion capture. I'd been on tour with Never Twins and Creeper, with Goffy Girlfriends. Faisal and I had just been on our first holiday abroad together to Turkey and Greece. I was so busy. I was really active. I was going to the gym, but I was severely depressed because of my periods and my suspected, at the time, suspected endometriosis. It was ruining my life. So it's actually mad, like, now, two years later, I am, um, I have a disability, I have an official diagnosis of endometriosis, and I am pregnant and married. Crazy. That's actually wild when you think about it. Life, I, life is a lot different, so I feel like James and I will have a lot to catch up on. As I said, I think he's a fantastic photographer. There's so many testimonials that I see on his, um, socials online he has photographed so many different people in so many different aspects of this crazy creative industry and he does headshots and portraits and video stuff um this isn't sponsored <laughs> i just think he's fantastic i've got a bit of a bump now so i'm really hoping i can get some shots of the bump my face is starting to change i'm starting to look pregnant in the face i feel like this is the last chance I can get like actor headshots. And I don't know if these will be like my actor headshots or these will just be portraits. I haven't decided yet, but it's gonna be nice to get some new photos done. And I need to try on what I'm gonna wear. I'm not prepared fully for this. I think like my pregnancy brain, I'm just like, I'm just taking things as they come. But I need to charge my camera. I've got loads of clothes drying as you can see behind me. So I really just need to pick what I'm gonna wear. Guys, once again, just excuse the mess. There's like gifts and everything everywhere, but I just wanted to show you how my bump looks in like a tight dress. And now it makes me want to wear tight dresses. I, I love it. I have to take this tomorrow. I think it'd be really nice to get a few shots like this. Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna travel to the shoot in. These are just my new maternity linen trousers from Boohoo. This is a brand new top Faisal got from, I don't actually know what it's from. It came in the post today. Yeah, I'm happy with my outfit choices and I might see you later on tonight. If not, I'll see you in the morning getting ready for my photo shoot. Good morning guys, I've just got up. Well, I woke up at six, but then I snoozed my alarm to half six and then I contemplated my life for half an hour and made a coffee. Um, it is the day of the shoot. I'm just gonna put my phone on charge. I've got basically two hours till I need to leave. I always like to give myself um, more time than I actually need because um, I'm the kind of person that has to be everywhere early. Yeah, I'm awake. I've got my cozy outfit on. I look knackered. I'm gonna do my hair and makeup, um, but shouldn't, it, makeup shouldn't take too long to do because it's headshots so I, I don't want like a full face of glam I just want to enhance my features also make sure it's weatherproof because I don't know if you can hear I might mute the background noise but the wind it, it's so windy there's a storm this morning here I just can't hack my face right now. Um, I put a little bit of tan on last night. You can kind of see it, but I've got the settings quite bright so you can see everything. And it does just add a little bit of sun sun. But I was gonna come on to say, um, when I was younger and I used to get ready, um, I used to have to have music on. It was normally crying radio, to be honest. Um, had to get ready to music 
Whereas now, for the past kind of, God, I'd say like five years, I have to get ready to YouTube or a film or something. I've been really into watching like romantic comedies recently. I'm just in a mood. If you could see outside, honestly, guys, I know a lot of you will feel exactly the same as me in saying that the weather really affects your mood. I am so envious of what I like to call the true northerner. If you're from the north, you're obviously northern. The true northerner, in my opinion, is are the people who are absolutely fine in miserable weather. Um, people who prefer winter, who, people who can still, still have that same amount of energy in the winter and the grey days and the shorter days. I really envy people like that. I'm not being sarcastic. I genuinely do. And like, I'm not made for this weather. I'm made for sunny climates. I'm made for the Mediterranean climate. That's like in my bones. I won't lie. <laughs> I won't lie. I like to be as honest as possible on these vlogs. I feel really miserable. <laughs> not generally. I don't feel miserable generally. I'm really getting through the um, Primark version of the vitamin rich face base it is four pound fifty it's amazing i need to go and get some more this week because as you can see it's i'm getting low um but i, just, I can't i can't crack it anymore i think it's because this time last year the weather generally was better um the reason why my face is so shiny is because i've got the paula's choice um what's it called serum on i'll link it below because god it's probably my favorite thing i've ever bought for my skin i'm gonna crack on with my makeup i will come back when i've got more oh my god no but first i just have to oh first i just have to show you what my sister-in-law got for my baby girl flopsy yeah let's put some makeup on and let's not look like this guys i actually can't with this weather i just It's so disgusting. <sighs> I don't have my shoot for four hours. Um, so everything's gonna kind of like tone down by the time I get there. Um, and yeah, the lip tint looks, looks more excessive in real life, but my hair needs to be like brushed out and everything. But I'm just like, I'm just not gonna do that until I get there. Like I said, because the weather's just, it's just obscene. But yeah, I'm gonna pack um, just some bits to touch up my face. Almost, almost finished with my makeup. Yeah, my hair needs to be combed up. There's no point doing it till I actually get there. Just need to do my mascara and pack my bag and then, can you hear that? Let me just show you. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Okay, I am done for now. My hair, Faisal was like, your hair's looking very 80s. I know, it's quite, the curls are quite tight, but they will, they will drop a little bit, hopefully. But I'm gonna pack my straighteners just in case. Um, but yeah, I'm happy, makeup's done, suitcase is nearly packed. I'm gonna pack everything um, and see if I've got time for breakfast before I need to get a taxi to the station because obviously I'm not walking in this weather. Hello. Are you gorgeous? This is the suitcase test. I can carry it. You wanna dream me? Another one. Okay. Are you ready? Come on. Do you want another one? Okay. We call this the dreamy game. Um, I suggest you play the dreamy game with your cat. Do you want a dreamy? You want another one? Are you ready? Do you want another one? Do you want another one? You want another one? No. Okay. And that's that. So I'm gonna vlog from now on 
on my phone just because it's raining. But I'll see you at the train station. My, my Uber is here, so I've tried to wrap up as much as possible. I've got a cap, a scarf and everything to protect my hair. Well, let's go. even get into the taxi because the wind was that strong I couldn't open the door so like all the rain was hitting my face it's like wiped off so much makeup that I've tried to cover up but I don't know if I've done a very good job just waiting for the train to pull up now hoping that it's not too busy <sighs> I, I'm hoping it's one of these like bad rehearsal good show things where things go wrong now so that the shoot is amazing that's how I'm seeing it. I'm not gonna let it ruin my mood. <laughs> Good morning, it's now the next day. I didn't vlog when I got home. Well, I vlogged when I got in the lift, but I just, it was only like quarter to five when I got in and that was it. I was meant to do so much when I got back and none of it got done. I basically was FaceTimed by Faisal four times. One sec. I was FaceTimed by Faisal about four times in two hours and we were just chatting for ages. <laughs> which sometimes happens when we've been apart all day and he's here, we'll just sit and chat for ages. And then I was like, it's like half seven. I had some hummus and bit of bread and a yogurt and some strawberries and I went to bed. And I was just chatting with my family and went on TikTok and fell asleep at like quarter to nine. One of the worst parts of pregnancy, I mean, I'm over, I feel like the luckiest woman in the world to be pregnant, but, um, it's going, it's falling asleep really early and then waking up. And I, I kid you not, almost every hour I have to get up to go to the loo, which is really common. That's not like rare to go to the loo. Cause you're like, you wake up and you're in pain. You are bursting for the loo and nothing comes out. Then you get back in bed again. And I'm somebody that if I wake up, that's it. I'm, I'm like, okay, let's start the day. So it's really hard for me to get back to sleep because I don't sleep well anyway. And then when I do sleep, I have a nightmare and then I wake up and need a wee again. So the sleep is so inconsistent. So I'm like awake at like five and I'm like, should I just get up? And then I'm like, no, I'm going to be tired all day. So I'll sleep a bit more. And then I'll just snooze and snooze and snooze and snooze. And just like, it takes me so long to get out of bed. But now... <laughs> what is it? Do you want to dream me? Anyway, okay, let's um, let's put some makeup on so I don't look like this and I can crack on with whatever I'm doing today. Okay, I've got some makeup on now, and I'm just unpacking everything I took to the shoot yesterday. I've got my jazz apparel T-shirt on that I'm gonna make some TikToks in. The day is running away. It's gonna be one of those days, I think, today. So if I can get some work done I'll be really happy the weather is disgusting again yeah yesterday's shoot was so much fun I will show you the photos from yesterday in a bit I had my contact sheet back last night but I was just so tired I flicked through it and then went to sleep but the shoot was so much fun I can't recommend James enough I will leave the website 
linked in the video um, and I'll definitely show you the contact sheet. I'm just so happy that I have some pregnant photos. Like when we were looking at the photos as we were taking them, they appear on the screen so you can see um, what everything's looking like. And I was just like, that's a pregnant woman. But the reality of it really sunk in and I was just thinking, that's me and I'm pregnant. It is later now, I've just filmed three TikToks, one with all of my jazz apparel t-shirts, just how I would style them. And then two TikToks using Kerry songs. And I'm glad because I've been meaning to do that for a while. So I'm glad I've made a start. I'm expecting a phone call any minute now with regards to a shoot I'm doing tomorrow in Manchester, which I will take you to, but I, I don't know how much I'll be able to film. But you can come with me um, to sunny Manchester. I mean, it's gonna be raining, isn't it? But that's tomorrow. And then for the rest of today, I really need to choose the photos that I want. Well, I need to pick my favorites, show you. I need to send that off to my new agent and I need to send some emails. And I need to decide if I'm gonna film one of my Q&As today. I'm probably thinking no. I'm just, I'm just not feeling it. I think what I'll do is I'll be, I'll be in Manchester tomorrow to the shoot and then I think I'll dedicate Friday to filming both those videos because they shouldn't take too long and then I'm like, I'm getting ready for it. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna make a coffee. I'm gonna wait for this phone call. Then I'm gonna show you the photos from yesterday. Be I've just had my phone call with James, who I've worked with a few times, and I'm working with Tiny Tim tomorrow. I didn't know who Tiny Tim was, and I've just looked at him on socials. He's got millions of followers, and I'm really excited. But I've got to go to Home Bargains now. Hi. I feel really flat, I feel low. Like I just, yeah, I'm just having a low day. I think it's the SAD, I think I just, I really do think it's a sunshine issue. I'm not, I'm really not feeling it today. So hopefully I feel better tomorrow or later, but I think it's important to talk about these things. So I'm back in the lift again. Been at Home Bargains, got some letters. It's been a wild afternoon. Okay, I'm back. So I'm gonna show you, once I've made a brew, uh, some of the photos that we took yesterday. Okay, so, I hope the camera's focusing. This is how we started. And I'm just gonna quickly go through them because there are so many photos. So basically, I've gotta go through all of these, send them to my agent as well, and pick which ones I like best, basically. But yeah, I just wanted some more portraits where I just, I look, I look a bit older, do you know what I mean? Um, these are some pregnancy ones. I love these colours here. I think they're so pretty. And then we've got some more bump ones. And there's some ones now of me sitting down in my black dress. Because oh, there's so many. Oh, there's more. There's more. This, These were the final photos we took. I absolutely love these. I love the pink background. So yeah, I need to sit and <sighs> look through all of these now. Hi guys, it's the next day now. I am just about to leave to head to Manchester to shoot this thing for Tiny Tim. I'm actually not gonna be on camera, which is quite nice for a change actually, to just turn up and like, it doesn't matter what I look like. Um, but I did put some makeup on though, just because I saw my eye bags this morning and I was like, no. Yeah, so I have put a bit of makeup on and done my hair and stuff, but the Weather is okay. I mean, it's gray, but there's a bit of blue. So I'm hoping I can walk to the station today. Like normal, I'm not gonna take my camera, but I'm gonna take my phone and get some clips if I can. I hope you're all doing well. Let's go to Manchester. This is what I'm wearing, just a very boring basic outfit. I've got this coat on from ASOS years ago. My new Boohoo linen trousers, Reeboks and the new H&M maternity vest. I kind of want to give them a go and see what they're like, but I am looking pregnant now.
we don't talk about the hair, we don't talk about the fringe. It was absolutely chucking it down. But you know when you commit to a walk and you don't want to give in to the rain, so I just carried on walking. Um, just got back. Today was so much fun. I was shooting with Tiny Tim. Um, I'll leave his socials below because it was so funny. It was such a short shoot, but it was just like, it was just the right time. It was quite a last minute shot. I got asked to do it on Tuesday um, when I had my headshots done. So yeah, that was fun. I still need to hear about the shoot I'm supposed to be doing next week in Chester, um, but I haven't heard yet, but that was fun. I love working with that production company. I've been working with them for three years now. So it's such a compliment as an actor and content creator, whatever you want to call it, um, to be used multiple times by the same company. It's just like, they must like me. <laughs> so it was nice. So I got some footage. So I will have put that footage in of what I got. I didn't vlog much again. I don't normally. It's just like, you're there to do a job. So um, I know. But I just got back and my friend Lara, who, when was Lara last in a vlog? I think it was my Bring Me vlog um, in January, has sent me something in the post. So, are you hungry? No. So I'm going to go and open that now. I'm going to video it for TikTok as well. funny. I need to FaceTime Faisal. I also picked up some bits from Tesco. Pita bread. Some large wholemeal baps. Honey. Turts. <laughs> I saw it. I was walking past. I was like, I've got to ring Faisal. Ca called him and he was like, right, how much is it? And sent me the money for it. He was like, you've got to buy it. So this is for our daughter. Um, but she can't use it just yet because it's for age three plus. Strawberries. Blueberries. Hummus and some coffee pods. Guys, I feel like I need to wrap this vlog up. I feel like I ended it yesterday with showing you what I got from Tesco. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next video, whatever that may be. I hope you're having a lovely rest of your day, evening, week, whatever that is, stay safe. Be nice, eat your greens. But really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.